Hi all my friends, this is the last video of our camping stay at the Cibola Wildlife Refuge and at the Hippie Hall. Now also during this time, it was our one year anniversary of traveling around, camping together off and on during that you know one year period, but we met the year before this during su Super Bowl time, and so we ended up getting back together around the Super Bowl time again, and so we ended up spending it at this location. So I hope you enjoy the clip as I'm mentioning that as I took a walk. And then when we took a walk together, we ended up seeing um, a rabbit. Uh, I ended up seeing a pretty cool military helicopter fly over us. It was so cool. And then also while we were... Um, out in the evening, we were around the fire. There was this little pack rat that was running around, and it was just a brave little thing, and it was coming out, running around our chair and stuff like that. So I ended up getting a clip of it. And then I also have some random pictures during our stay here. But I do want to talk real briefly about a very important subject. Because during this time that we were camping at, at this location at the hippie hall, I ended up getting bit by something. I didn't see what I got bit by because I was working on my phone. And I don't know if it had crawled up on my hand. I don't know at what point I got bit. And But all I know is that my hand got incredibly itchy. I mean, I was just like intense itch. And then it was getting red. And the redness was... Um, basically spreading on my hand, okay? So the reason I want to talk about this is because sometimes when you're traveling or, you know, I mean, it could happen anywhere. You could be in a picnic somewhere, you know, in a local park somewhere and have your, and get bit by something. So you always want to be prepared. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. So I'm finishing this later on in the day. So, um, you always want to have something with you in case you get bit by something because it could happen at any time. I've been bit by things before and nothing to the magnitude of the itch and the redness and how, how quick that swelling had spread. Okay, so I take 180 milligrams of Allegra when I have um, any kind of uh, extreme itch or allergy, you know, going on. But most of the time, I only need to have a half a pill. But that particular evening, boy, I took a whole pill. And I went to Kent's camper to get some ice. And I said, I don't know what else to do but to put ice on it and wait for this 180 milligrams of Allegra to work. And finally it did, but it took 30 minutes. But at least the the ice help to calm things down a little bit for me to tolerate it. Plus, I had a lot of anti-itch um, stuff with me as well. But know what works for your body. Um, just the active ingredient that's in Allegra or the generic version of that is what works best for me and my system because I'm so sensitive. But always have that on hand because you <laughs> never know when something like that can happen. Or I'm sure if I ever got stung by a bee or something like that, I probably would have to use it at that particular time, okay? So have that in your little emergency travel bag, okay? Now I'm gonna show you two pictures right after this um, clip. So close your eyes for just about, um, I, I only show for four seconds, so eight seconds, so 10 seconds, just close your eyes. Then you'll hear my intro, and then you can open up your eyes if you're sensitive to things like that. But there is no open wound. It's just a redness, and you can see what it looked like or what I was starting to go through. But it never got worse than what you're going to see. But boy, I'm sure glad I had that Allegra because I'm not sure how worse it could have gotten, okay? So enjoy this video and all the pictures and everything from my time there, uh, at the rest of my time there at Cibola, okay? So 
close those eyes if you don't want to see all right for the next 10 seconds love you all see you in the next video Cool helicopter coming in. Awesome. I used to go to a lot of the um, air shows and stuff like that. I love actually trains and planes, everything like that. <laughs> cool. Well, Kent and I are celebrating uh, one year of knowing each other, and we met um, just a little bit before um, Super Bowl of last year, but we actually camped for the first time together last year at Super Bowl time. So it is our anniversary of actually uh, really, you know, getting to know each other and camping together uh, one year ago. <laughs> and we're celebrating Super Bowl again at this beautiful place. And again, the wildlife um, is directly down that road and it goes into a dirt road. That's where it's at. So we're right at the border. There's my van, and there's his truck, right out there. What a gorgeous, beautiful place for our one-year anniversary. <laughs> um, I call it our anniversary because that's when we really, you know, just hit it off and we camped together, and Rocky had his big stick running around, and we were laughing. It was just such a good time, and yeah, just, uh, yeah, that was just the start of uh, our connection. All right, and so anyways, beautiful night for um, sunset chasing, and then it's half time, so I got to get back soon, but having a great time watching the Super Bowl. Filming him. Oops. There he is. Their pet hamster. <laughs> and then we see a little bunny. Dinner. <laughs> Coyote dinner. <laughs> you better run and find a safe place. This is a red old pasture running this road right here. Right. Yeah, I'm filming them. Yeah, they were, we hear them at night up this road all the time. See them. Is it eating? Yeah, it looks like it's eating. Pretty cool. I wanted to see some kind of wildlife while we were walking. That's the first thing we got to see. Okay, <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you.
There it is. Pretty cool.